Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm going to start this one off by saying a massive sorry because I wanted this video to be out on Thursday and I've got another one that I wanted out on Friday. But unfortunately I got really, really sick and just couldn't do anything when it comes to nails. So today I've been rushing, trying to get everything ready. So hopefully I'll have this one ready for today, which is Saturday. And then there'll be one more pastel nail design scheduled for Sunday. <laughs> so the two videos here were supposed to be scheduled for Thursday, Friday because on Wednesday I uploaded my video announcing the new releases from Madame Glam's. So they've come out with this beautiful pastel egg ready for Easter and it comes with six beautiful shades ready to get you started for the Easter season. <laughs> so um, my plan was to of course the next following two days upload uh, videos kind of showing you guys what kind of nail designs you can create using those gels and kind of help you guys make a conclusion whether or not you want to go ahead and buy it. But of course I got sick and that can happen so we're just a couple of days late, luckily not too late <laughs> so you can still go ahead and grab yourself one of those eggs. So hopefully this will still help you guys very much. So I've got all of the pastel shades here today but um, in today's video actually we won't be using that blue shade so I'm not quite sure why I ended up picking it out and showing you guys. At the start I did show you the names of the polishes, I cannot remember them off the top of my head so I'll just be refer referring to them based on their colour basically. So um, we've already put base colours on two other nails in the background, we've got one for green nail and one for purple nail. Then we're going to have two ombre nails and boy was this a little challenge. <laughs> so we're going to have two of the same ombres. And we're going to ombre four colours together using the brush method, which you will know I'm not the most familiar with, I'm not the most comfortable using the brush, but recently I've been really, really giving it a go. Whenever there's an ombre that I want to do, I've just been picking up the brush and really trying to challenge myself. And you know what, it's actually been quite fun, and the more I basically practice, the better it gets, which is great. So um, it just shows that anything, <laughs> anything can be done, it's just you need to practice. So we're going to ombre a green to, to the orange, an orange to the pink, and pink to the purple. So what I like to do is I start off by um, kind of going back and forth between two individual shades first and then once I'm happy with that I start right from the top going right down to the bottom and it's the same when it comes to just two shades and it's the same whether I'm doing here four shades for example whether I'm doing three five however many that's just my way of going about it you don't have to go right from the top right to the bottom you can just strictly stick to the um, bits in between the two gel polishes if you wanted to all completely down to you so here I've got one we're going to do one more as you can see you can see a lot of lines but don't worry after doing two layers it disappears for sure it's the second layer that you really need to be the most precise and um, spend a bit extra time trying to get right so I've now applied two layers of the four nails that we've got in the background now so it's time to work on our fifth so this one is a little bit time consuming just a little bit you want to find your middle ground <laughs> and then from there you just want to drag out um, kind of lines going to the edge of the nail you want to keep fairly thin at the top and the further away you're getting you want to make it thicker and thicker so here we've got one it's going to be purple and what i'm going to do is just alternate between each color so i'm going to start off with purple then i'm going going to do green orange pink and just repeat it i'm not quite sure why i didn't end up including the blue because we could have actually included the blue in this nail in particular but i ended up just keeping it by accident it looks like in today's nail design as well, we don't have any glitter, so strictly just the gorgeous pastel -y colours. Um, and as you can see here as well, I am not curing in between. Um, it would have been something I probably find myself doing sometimes, curing in between each layer just because I get paranoid. I'm going to knock it around, it's going to kind of bleed into each other, but I'm leaving a little gap in between. And um, don't worry about the gap though, if you do end up leaving a gap as well, it's absolutely fine because we are going to cover it up later with some nail art gel. So that's going to cover up that line. And you just want to repeat it. Here, actually, um, <laughs> I ended up kind of miscounting how many of each shade I needed. So when we come close to finishing this nail, you'll notice that I've got two colours very close to one another, which was not the plan. Um, so if you wanted to be also very, very precise, you can kind of imagine slash map out exactly where you want each colour. But here I just kind of, I had an example next to me and I was just going with it. So as you can see, it's, it's achievable, or if you wanted to be, like I said, very, very precise and get it perfect, make sure you can, um, you know, kind of like plan it out, maybe do very slight, slight faint lines, kind of drawing where you want it on the nail and then colour it in kind of thing. There's all sorts of different ways you can go about it, but of course I just went down the I'm going to wing it <laughs> method. 
so you just want to repeat it this bit was probably the most time consuming you probably think it's the ombre but this one really took some time I do go ahead and pop it into the lamb once I'm happy with it and I do go ahead and do a second layer off camera because this one took super long like super super long and it's just repeating I'm just going over each nail ne oh, sorry not each nail each color here and just um, making it, you know, a bit more opaque just because I wasn't using too much and it, some bits are a bit more sheer than others. So I wanted to make sure we fixed that up. So this is the bit there. So it's pink and it should, after pink, it should be purple, but I've got purple right there. So I had to pick a color. It was going to be either green or orange and I decided to go for green this time. And it's actually fine looking at it now. It's not actually that noticeable, which is great. Um... But yeah, <laughs> there we go. So there's two layers. <laughs> I've cured it as well. And now it's time to apply our top coat. No, it's not. It's time to do cloud. So this one is um, kind of like spacey inspired, but not really. It's got a bit of like clouds and stars. Um, I just really wanted to play about with the pastelis. I didn't really have much of a plan when it comes to the, this in particular nail design. I just really wanted to have some fun. And um, the ombre nails were re kind of really giving me sky vibes. So I wanted to do some clouds. So I'm using a dotting tool and a nail arch gel. And the reason I'm doing a nail arch gel is just because they're thicker and they'll be easier to kind of like fan out downwards with my little sponge here to create this little cloud effect. So what I'm doing here is just dabbing it on and just kind of dragging it down. Um... And then you get your little cloud. It looks so much better in person. I feel like the camera isn't doing it justice. The colours are just not giving it justice either. I feel like the colours are so much more opaque. Um, sorry, not opaque. A bit more brighter maybe than it's kind of picking up on camera. I feel like I've had a bit of a bad day today when it comes to recording. Um, this video in particular is just areas that are just out of shot. Um, or possibly like here, just not in focus. It's just so annoying. Once you cure the first three clouds that you've created, I'm going to do two additional ones on top of two of those so I've decided to pick the top one and the bottom one just to kind of give it that layered look um you can you can definitely completely miss this bit if you wanted to or you can add even more clouds if you wanted to but I kind of really like the effect it, go it gives when it's kind of kind of on top of each other but kind of not here they are matte top coated I ended up actually not doing that on camera somehow um and now it's time to add some little stars so because the matte background is there using the nail art gels they cure tack free which is beautiful so we can have a bit of matte and a bit of glossy on this one so i'm going to do three little stars i'm going to dip into that white with my nail art brush and i'm just going to drag out four little lines coming out of the little circles we've just created to give us a little star and we, i'm going to do the exact same thing on the other ombre nail as well of course and you want to make sure you cure these for 60 seconds they really are opaque and thick and they do really need that 60 seconds to be cured fully through the amount of times i've forgotten and i did 30 and i managed to you know literally scrape half of it off the nail still so it really does need that 60 seconds so here's our first nail the other one will be also done off camera just repeating exactly what we've done and this is the bit i was talking about so <laughs> using that same nail art gel we're just going to go over where the two colours meet on this nail. This is a little bit time consuming too and um, you kind of want to try and make sure your lines are as the same kind of thickness as possible. It's not um, it's not too bad if it isn't. Um, I, I know that my lines were definitely not perfect but um, with what we're trying to achieve with this one in particular I kind of was trying to get the lines as kind of the same <laughs> thickness as possible you don't have to be too worried about the center we are going to place a crystal in the center so don't worry too much about getting that perfect or anything and um, there'll be no need we're going to place this fairly large chunky little ab star there so it's actually going to cover up any mistakes that we've made so i love nails that you can do that you don't have to be spending too much time perfecting it because we're going to cover it all up so I'm just going to finish it once again, pop into the lamp for 60 seconds, this will cure tag free, glossy on top of a beautiful matte background and then we can crack on with our crystals. So the crystal placement today, um, kind of simple, kind of not. Uh, this one, like I said, will have a star in the center and that's all that we're going to do for this one. This one's already super busy as it is. It was kind of just an attempt to cover up that center. <laughs> so there it is cured, time to apply our Macart Ronson glue gel and here is my little star. There we go it'll go into the lamp then we can work on our green nail which actually ended up wrinkling a little bit and it was completely my fault it was the matte topper that i applied i just clearly applied way too much of it on there so don't know if you 
will be able to see and there we go you can actually see it there on the left hand side there's that one side that ended up wrinkling a little bit but it's absolutely fine no one's wearing these this is just designs just make sure you don't end up wrinkling it on your clients that's for sure um for the green nail i'm just going to place the crystals on the right hand side just a standard little like side crystal piece that we always seem to be doing on this channel Super simple, easy, and super effective. It really does add that little sparkle to your nail designs and all of that good stuff. So that one will go into the lamp in a moment. And this one is where it gets a little bit... It's just a lot of AB crystals put together. It's not really hard at all. If you wanted to, you can follow it. You can change it up a little bit. I was just kind of picking up random little pieces of um, AB different shapes that I had and just were trying to put it together really <laughs> um I will end up in the end placing some caviar beads on this purple nail and also on that green nail so of course it's just a simple um in between the, the crystals I'm going to place the caviar beads I ended up not showing that on camera today I'm still not feeling fully well <laughs> I'm just really I just love doing nails so much and it just makes me so sad when I can't create videos on all of that kind of stuff so I'm happy that I'm able to at least do as much as I can today and get this one out because I really want to show you guys what you can do with these gels and really not miss out on this opportunity to get one of those easter eggs because boy they're so pretty and the egg is so gorgeous it's literally a decor piece in my house now <laughs> it's definitely going to be and staying a decor piece in my house I wish they did one for Valentine's imagine a beautiful kind of heart shaped little container for your gels and like the the valentine's collection in that heart oh my goodness i would have died for that so i just love valentine so much um so there it is we've got kind of like a diamond d shape crystal we've kind of got like a kite at the top we're going to <laughs> whack on some circular abs we are going to place the caviar beads and it's that moment where this nail kind of makes sense so right now it's a bit like oh this looks a bit dodgy and weird and i don't know if that fully works but as soon as i place the caviar beads you will see there we go so here's the caviar beads i really really think it kind of made the crystal placement look so much better um, and I hope you guys liked it. I really love how the cloud nails look there. I love it so much. So, so, so much. So if you guys liked it too, if you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I would absolutely love to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.